And now, please welcome Rio Und, the director of the Master. Cheers. Rio, with Eisen, how, how do you say the title in Estonian? Rio. No, the, oh. the title of your film, Rio. Uh, Isand. 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 With Isand, do you think that you've made your most political film? It isn't political film. No. It isn't political. <laughs> no, not at all. No. This film about master, be a good or bad master. Uh, we all are masters. If you have, are, uh, for example, children, you are a uh, dad or, or um, mother, for, it means you are a master. You, and you have some responsibilities to care and so on. It's not political. Sorry. <laughs> okay. you, don't, you don't believe me? Oh, I'm always believing uh, filmmakers, you know. <laughs> okay, it's political. <laughs> uh, actually, this story was written about 100 years ago. It's quite famous Estonian um, writer, Friedeber Douglas, made it. And uh, this uh, story was written before the uh, First World War. It was some sign about war. Yes, it's political. At the beginning of your career, you, you did a film that is one of my favorite in the whole history of, of animation. It's The War. What was the title in Estonian? Yeah. You, you remember The your, War? Your film. Yes. Yeah. What, what was the Estonian title of this film? Soda. Yeah. Soda. And I had the feeling that uh, Iceland is a sort of a, 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 the film that just following Soda, uh, even if you did great things between these two films, I, I, I had a perception of a, a very strong link between these two films. Thank you. I never think about it. Yes, in, in a Soda, in a, in a war, there was a crowds and rats, now it's a monkey and a dog. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a progress, of course. Yeah. The film is so realistic that I had a feeling it was shot in a very large scale, uh, in, in, like in a real apartment with natural light. Uh, at which scale did you work? Did uh, you work? Uh, everyone asked how big or how small. Actually, uh, my company called Nuku Film. We have a uh, in Mifa box, and and I have a uh, one small decoration with puppets. And if you want to really know how big or how small all these puppets, you can. You're very welcome. But this uh, tush hund or a, a dog was some 18 centimeters. Okay. If, yeah. It's quite big for me, and my company is quite big decoration, for example, yeah. How did you achieve to, to have such realistic uh, work, such a realistic light, especially, in the film? Uh, so this uh, story was, uh, I mean, this uh, real story was very tragical and a very uh, lot of details described in, in this uh, written story. And uh, that's one, uh, that's the reason why I choose so realistic word for, for this movie. Yes. And, and secondly, I am an interior designer or architect. <laughs> that, that, that's the second problem. Uh, yeah, not problem but. And you still continue to be an interior designer? In a, on, on, on animation movies only. On animation movies only, okay. <laughs> and, and, no, because I can invite you uh, to come to design my, my, uh, my uh, own. <laughs> House, if you want. Uh, uh, quite expensive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any question? Yeah. I would like to know how you managed to get our 
compared back into animation, the musician. To, to animation? How you get him back into animation, because he used to make music in the 50s, 60s. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, thank you, Otto. It's, it's by accident, yes. I, I finished my school as an architect and start to work, and just my friend comes and we have a one free place in animation studio in Tallinn, in Nukufel. And it was quite new for me, and I said, yes, still, I, I have the same op opinion to continue my thoughts. By accident, Otto. Mark? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a beautiful film, and this is the second time I've seen it. And every time there's a big reaction to your dedication at the end. So. Is this, you know, an Estonian sense of humor, or do you really love your mother? <laughs> it's uh, both. Is uh, bo both uh, uh, your suggestion uh, is wrong, because my mother is very sick in hospital. That that yeah, it was it wasn't joke. Yeah. So I'm not very familiar with uh, Estonian history, but if I understood right, uh, uh, the dog is the Estonian uh, folk, um, people, and, uh, well, well, I don't want to reduce it, okay, but, uh, you know, because if, if we just take a story of animals, it says no sense. <laughs> and uh, maybe the, the monkey is the um, Russian, maybe. But the master, the master is. Um... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if I am politically incorrect. <laughs> and and but the master, but because at the beginning of the film, uh, the the dog is waiting for the master, and we imagine it is a man. But this master is absent. So is it everybody that should be his master? So that's my question. <laughs> I never thought, think uh, thought about uh, Russians or Estonians, no. In, not in this film, in, in, in the film Zeta, or in the war, it was 30 years ago. But um, mm, it's quite personal film for me as well, because I am almost 60 and sometimes thinking about death. <laughs> It's, it's one reason why I made so sad film, because all my other film was comedies. Riho, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to have you.